The United States of America has the longest road network in the world. End to end, our roads can circle this planet more than a hundred times. Most of these road surfaces are paved with a mixture of stone and sand that are held together using asphalt, which is a petroleum byproduct. So, the construction and maintenance of our roads uses up hundreds of tons of non-renewable fossil fuels and contributes heavily to atmospheric pollution. My PhD research is about making roads more sustainable using the age-old mantra of reduce, reuse and recycle. The first facet of my research is reduce. When we lay roads, we need to heat up the materials, the stone and the asphalt, to very high temperatures that exceed 300 degrees. If we can reduce the production temperatures, even by a little bit, we can save a lot of fuel and reduce a lot of harmful emissions. Technologies that can help us produce asphalt concrete at around 50 degrees cooler temperatures are called warm mix asphalt, as opposed to the usual hot mix asphalt. So, in my research, I compared the efficiency of different kinds of warm mix asphalt technologies. The second part of my research is recycle. All over the country, constantly, older pavement material is being milled up. And this material, if you don't reuse and recycle it, it goes straight to the landfill. This material is actually really valuable, but it comes from aged pavements that have been sitting out in rain and shine for years and years and has become really stiff. So it's very difficult to use higher amounts of recycled material because it's so stiff. This is where the first part of my research, reduce, that is warm mix asphalt, comes to the picture, comes to the rescue. Due to the lower production temperature, the stiff recycled material becomes easier to work with. In my experimental tests, I found that 40% recycled material in combination with warm mix asphalt performs just as well. In fact, sometimes it's even better than the usual hot mix asphalt. This is really encouraging because the environmental benefits of combining these two sustainable technologies is obviously tremendous. And the construction industry can save more than 30% in initial cost spend less on emission control, and ensure better health for our construction workers. In the future, I want to see sustainable technologies become the norm in mainstream pavement construction. We all know roads are so impactful on our lives, but their impact on the environment needs to be as less as possible. Thank you. Thank you, Harika.